It's a beautiful morning here in South Florida. We're gonna take the TBM 850 on an IFR flight from Miami, Florida up to Brooksville, Florida. Let's get this started. Welcome aboard the TBM 850 here, Opelaka, Florida. We'll start up the TBM here. Clear out the front. Volts look good. 24 volts on the battery. We'll be doing a battery start. Fill boost pump on. And starter is on. Starter light's blinking. The ignition light is also illuminated. First two things we want to look at. If we didn't see those two lights, we'd shut this sequence down immediately. Watching the energy rise up. Stabilizing right at 14%. Now we're going to introduce fuel to low idle. Watching for a light off. Watching the ITT for a hot start. NG for hung start. We'll see what the ITT temps out here this morning on this uh, start. 707. It's a nice cool start. Now it's going to wind back down as the turbine starts to build up rotation. And get airflow through there. Now we're just continuing to watch both of them, making sure the NG continues to rise. Just doing a very good job. There we go, good start. All right, the next step is we'll go over and get the ATIS here at Opalaka. Papa, get the information, Papa, 1153, Zulu weather, wind 0, 9 or 0 at 8, visibility 1 0, sky better than 5005, temperature 23, 2.17, altimeter 3017, ILS, runway 9 or left, approaching use, landing and departing runway 9 or left, 9 or right, and 1 2. Notice is Derman, cranes in the vicinity of the airport, maximum height 230 feet above ground level, east caution for birds in the vicinity of the airport, advisories, ground control and clearance delivery, combined on 120.02. Advice on initial contact, you have information, Papa. All right, we have information, Papa. Get information. Clearance is combined over on ground frequency, so we'll contact uh, ground with the S for IR for clearance. Both walk at ground. Good morning, Nova R-E-5-1 Tango Bravo over in spot three with Papa. Looking to pick up our IFR. R-E-5-1 Tango Bravo, block at ground cleared to the uh, Brooksville Airport uh, via the Miami 8 departure. Hurricane transition. Then it's filed. Maintain 2000. Expect flight level 180. Miami departure on uh, 119045, squawk 4706. Equipped to Brooksville, Miami 8, hurricane tr transition as filed, maintain 2180. 10 minutes after 1945, squawking 4706. Now, rebate. one Tango Bravo. Yeah, one Tango Bravo, reback is correct, and I'm sorry, where are you parked today? Uh, we're going to be approaching spot 3. We have information, Papa, and we're ready to taxi. Now, rebate. Five one Tango Bravo. One thing of problem, thanks. Uh, runway uh, 9 left taxi via November 6 and November. November 6, November to 9 left, 851 Tango Bravo. Alright, there we go. We got our clearance. We got our taxi clearance. Morning. And we are ready to go. So there's no marshallers here today to guide us up. We'll just keep a good eye out the windows. We'll cycle the prop choice back into feather. That's just changing the pitch of the prop, watching the uh, prop RPM drop. And the torque rise. So yeah, very exciting today to have you guys on board with me in the TBM 850. Beautiful day to fly. It's just after 7 a.m. here in South Florida. I was able to watch a nice sunrise as I was pre-flighting the airplane.
for November 6th right now. Look out the front window there. This is going to be November. And we're going to turn left on November to taxi to the end to runway 9 left. There, one Tango Bravo contact tower approach in November 1. Have a great flight. November 1, and we'll contact uh, tower. If I want to take Bravo, enjoy your day. Look down at the iPad here. I'm still using the iPad Mini, uh, the previous model. They just came out Apple with the new iPad Mini, which is going to be awesome. It's going to have support for the Apple Pencil, which I'm really excited for. Pivot Cases is going to create a case for it, which is going to be amazing. So as soon as that new case gets released by Pivot, I'll be uh, using that. If you guys go look at the description below, you'll see a uh, discount code that I have for 15% if you guys always want to get a setup like this for your airplane. For the pivot cases for the iPad mounts and the different systems to mount them. Well, they work really good in a lot of different types of airplanes. Get a look out at the wings, put the flaps down, look at our flight controls. Free and correct. And flaps are selected and indicating. Hit the go around button, that'll pitch our flight director up to proper attitude for our departure. We'll go into heading mode. We'll be on a 090 heading out of here. So I've been flying this uh, TBM here as my uh, job, it's my career. And it's a really rewarding type of uh, career to have. Uh, every day is a little bit of a different type of mission. Good morning. Today's mission is we have to go up and pick up the boss, and we're going to be continuing up into Georgia and back to Fernandina Beach, and that will complete our day for what we have to do for my job today. Well, we're going to be coming up on November 1 here, and he told us we were cleared to go over to Tower. So right up here in front of us is November 1, and we'll go over to Tower Frequency, and we'll give him a call. Welcome to Tower, good morning, number 851 Tango Bravo, hold short of 9 left. Number 851 Tango Bravo, fly heading 090, runway 9 or left, clear for takeoff. Clear for takeoff, 9 left, we'll fly 090 in the heading, number 851 Tango Bravo. Alright, we got our takeoff clearance. The anticipation of going up in the sky is always a lot of fun and exciting. Clear on final, clear down the runway. You guys ready to go to Brooksville? Alright, I know I am. We're going to line up here in center line. There we go. Now we're going to ease the prop RPM up. There we go. I'm going to advance the torque for takeoff power, which will go right up to 100%. Takeoff power is set. Oil temperature pressure is all good in the green. Holding center line with our rudder pedals. Looking for a rotation speed, and there it is. Pull back on the yoke, and up into the sky we go. Positive rate, and indicating. And we're running out of remaining runway they used in case we were to have any kind of issue. Gear selected up. The TBM does have a long gear speed on this to get it up and down. And gears up and indicating. We'll go yaw damper on. Number 851 Bravo, traffic 11 o'clock and three miles is a helicopter maneuvering at 600 feet, staying north of Roman not or left. Roger, keep an eye out for the helicopter, 851 Tango Bravo. One Tango Bravo, contact Miami departure, Roman not or 0.45. Our departure, 851 Tango Bravo. Have a good day. Good day. And flaps are up. And we go over to departure. Miami, mean, good morning, November 851 Tango Bravo, 1,300 climbing, 2,000. 851 Tango Bravo, Miami departure, radar contact. All right, she's got it on her scope. One miles south westbound, heavy Dreamliner. Looking for that helicopter, he's now 1,000 foot below us. 1,500 heavy looking. And we'll go autopilot on. Tango Bravo, climbing pain, uh, 3,000. 3,000, 851 Tango Bravo. Fair wings, 951. 3,000 set, we're going to climb in IES mode, and we're in heading mode. Uh, 1,000 to go. Contact, Still looking for that uh, helicopter, but he'll be no factor. Oh wow, nice view off the right wing down there south of us, of downtown Miami. You want Tango Bravo, turn left heading a 330. I mean, 6,000. Left 330, climbing to 6,000, 851 Tango Bravo. 
Three three zero set and six thousand set up in our altitude pre-selector, and we're in vertical speed mode right now. We're going to put it to three thousand feet a minute climb to go up to six thousand feet, and we are in our left turn, northwest bound. Nine fifty one climbing in one six thousand. And we're going to 850 mode, flat lever goes up and over the gate, and utilize the torque, past 100% now, we're also going to climb an IES mode. 7,851 Tango Bravo. Actually, one Tango Bravo, maintain 6,000 for now, i got a heavy that's going over here, heavy 7.6 off the right hand side, 3 o'clock, a mile and a half, turning northbound. Schedule 6,851 Tango Bravo. And we have a 767 seven Boeing. One, two, eight, oh, there he is, right one, off our right wing. That's why we were told to make sure we level out at 6,000 feet. You guys can see that over there. 1672 heavy, correction, 1672 minor departure. 1,000 to go. I maintain 7,000. Good morning. He's going to be turning, going right over the top of us. He'll be going into Miami International Airport. So it's very crucial that we pay attention and we level out when we're supposed to, which is 6,000 feet. And we're coming up on 200 feet to go to that altitude. Today he's coming from, looks like, actually looks like UPS, I believe. There we go, 6,000 feet, we're leveling out. Get 5515 heavy, uh, clear Jones. And the altitude has actually captured, which is in green. UPS 5515 heavy, direct Jones. But notifies you that it's captured. Oh, one Tango Bravo, climb maintain 9,000. Climb maintain 9,000, 851 Tango Bravo. 9,000 set. American 1672. Gonna VS that up. 3,000 feet a minute. 767 is directly above us, but we won't not be able to catch him. Getting a 27280 vector for climb. 280851 Tango Bravo. Spirit 951, Cadet Miami Center. And we'll turn our initial separator off. There's a little switch down here by my left knee. There's the light that's showing that it's on. I flipped it. Now it's going to open two scoops in the uh, intake of the engine to let more air into the engine instead of redirecting it out. Which will make us give us a cooler running uh, engine. So you'll see the ITT drop and a torque climb by flipping that switch. American 69 heavy minus If you look down here at the iPad, 1,000 to go. You're going to see here's our bread crumb trail as we took off off 9 left. Uh, one Tango Bravo climb, maintain one 1,000. 1-1,000, Tango Bravo. 1-1,000 set. You get 55, 15 heads. And Miami, the new transition that they started out of South Florida is called the Hurricane Transition. A magenta line, that's the uh, line that is the Hurricane Transition. Back in 1672, traffic no factor. And that's our routing. Up into Brooksville, just north of Tampa. And climbing tank flail 180 is our final cruise altitude. Nice smooth air today. There really hasn't been a bump in the sky yet, which is always a pleasant experience. Passing through 10,000 feet. Off the right wing now, you're going to see that we're coming out over the Florida Everglades. And we can start to get comfortable here. Put the armrest down. And we can sit back and relax. So right now we're a little lopsided on our tank uh, with our fuel. We got 20 gallons more in the right tank and we're burning out of the left. So I'm going to do a manual shift. Now down here I shift tanks to which is now burning out of the right so we can even up our fuel gauges. It's on an electric timer. But you can also go into manual shift mode to uh, get it to be exactly where you want the uh, tanks to be. Turn right heading of uh, 330. Right 330, 851 Tango Bravo. There we go, 330 set up their heading bug. Since we're in heading mode, clear to the right. Yeah, we've had a lot of issues with this plane over the last year, but uh, it's been working very well uh, the last couple months now that I've been flying it after we've had the uh, engine issues and. We got the bullet hole fixed in the roof of the plane from a bolt that came out of the air down from above. Somebody was shooting uh, rounds up into the air around the airport. My airplane was sitting on the ramp overnight and one of the rounds went right through the roof. It got lodged in the overhead right above my, uh, right where I'd be sitting up here. But that's all fixed up, engine's working good. It's, uh, the airplane's working like a brand new airplane, which is a nice feeling. 
Tango Bravo, climb, maintain one five thousand. Maintain one five thousand, eight five one Tango Bravo. One five thousand set, arm that, VS that up. Three thousand feet a minute, one five thousand. If we go down to the iPad here, we're going to go to the airport tab. 2231, turn left, clear right we'll down, go to Gator. Brooksville. Gator, American 2231. There we go. Got the weather. Looks like uh, light winds out of the uh, heavy. Contact Miami. northeast. Three mile visibility, sky clear and mist. Three, three, four, have a good day. We'll plan for the ILS. Nine. nine. So we'll go to procedure, approach, ILS nine. And there's our approach plate, we'll get all that set up. And I get that set up as quick as I can. That way you're staying ahead of the flight, which makes the uh, flying a lot easier. You get behind the airplane, that's when things get difficult. 1,000 to go. I mean, we got such a good climb right here. I mean, I can barely see out the front window. Thankfully, we're IFR, and even though I try to keep a good eye out as much as I can, the nose-up attitude of this plane it is pretty drastic. And we're going to be leveling out here at 15,000. And as we climb, the torque will drop, so we continue to add torque in until we uh, get ITT limited or NG limited, depending on where you're flying in the world. Wow, beautiful view out there. I've always said, being a pilot, you get the best office view in the world. Being up here in the sky, nothing better. One Tango Bravo, climb maintain one six thousand and proceed direct hurricane. Contact uh, Miami Center thirty two forty five. Thirty two forty five one six thousand direct hurricane eight five one Tango Bravo. American twenty two thirty one contact Miami Center thirty two forty five one six thousand. Miami Center, good morning. And the Palm Beach Open three zero one nine. We're gonna go direct. Enter, enter to hurricane. Go to now. One forty seven contact Miami Center one three two point two five. Thirty two twenty five silver one forty seven. See ya. Morning Miami, November 851 Tango Bravo, 15,400, climbing to 16,000, direct hurricane. Number uh, 851 Tango Bravo, Miami Center, clear direct to LaBelle, climb and maintain flight level 180. Direct to LaBelle, climb and maintain 180, 851 Tango Bravo. So now we're direct to LaBelle, and we'll VS. Number 851 Tango Bravo, clear direct to Lakeland. Roger, go to direct to Lakeland, 851 Tango Bravo. We're getting everything all switched up, but it's all on our flight plan, so now we're just going to go direct to Lakeland. Miami Center, good morning, UPS 9817. Level 180 set. UPS 9817, Miami Center, good morning. And we're in nav mode, so the airplane will navigate as it's been instructed to. That's 1,000 to go, that's our altitude alerter. 17,000, climbing to flight level 180. Now we're going to push the standard button, that's going to go from an altimeter setting of 3017 to 2992. You can see the jump. We'll also go over here to the Co-pilot side. Beautiful day. Now we have that mist in Brooksville, but I think it'll burn off by the time we get there. If it not, if not, we'll just be able to shoot a nice ILS approach. It's above minimum, so that's all that matters. And we'll level at 180. Look out the front window there, and the, out the right side of the airplane. That's the view from level 180, 18,000 feet. Uh, what I'm going to let the airplane do is build up some airspeed. And once it gets as much momentum and energy as it's going to get at this altitude, we'll set cruise power. We do have just a little bit of a light, very light chop here at flight level 180. If it was a longer flight, you could ask and see if there's a, a better ride, a little bit higher or lower. But since today's flight was projected to just be around an hour, which is uh, what I call coffee time. When you don't have a bathroom on board, you want to make sure you don't partake in any beverage until you're one hour from your destination. Uh, that we don't have to worry about using the restroom. But yeah, since today we uh, don't have that far to go, I'll just stick it out here at 180. And since it's just all me on here all by myself, no big deal. You guys, well, you guys got your seatbelts on, right? So yeah, you, you guys are doing good. So there we go, the airplane's build up uh, as much speed as it's going to get here. We're uh, showing 200 knots indicated. We go down here to our air data computer. We get a true airspeed of 270. And we're doing a Mach 0.42. So not the fastest airplane in the world, but not too bad. So what we're going to do is... Uh, Pull the power back just a little bit, because as I pull the prop RPM back, we're going to go from 2,000, roughly, to 1,900. And it's going to get a little bit of a torque rise when I do that. So 
don't know if you guys can hear it, but it's just going to be a little bit quieter in the cabin by slowing that prop down, which is just a little bit more relaxing to me. And there we go, 1900 on the prop RPM. And we're at 728 on the ITT, so we can actually advance the torque a little bit more because we're not limited on anything right now. We'll be torque limited right now here at this altitude. So we'll do 115 on the torque. That's just a nice number for me right now that I don't have to worry about over torquing the engine if it bounces up a little bit. There we go, cruise power set. And if we come down here to the iPad, we're giving direct Lakeland, same to me, which uh, is right there. Is your final, if you'd like to go up, uh, Direct two. And there it is. There's our new routing. Right up into Brooksville. So if you look off the right wing there, that's Lake Okeechobee that we're going to be passing by. It is the biggest lake in the state of Florida here. A lot of alligators around this area. So we're looking good. I'll get the uh, approach all briefed. We're going to sit back. Relax and listen to some XM radio here, and uh, I'll catch you guys uh, when we get a little closer to Brooksville. We're on a 320 heading. We'll go over and get the uh, weather there at Brooksville. We already told Tampa we'd like to put in the request for the ILS-9er. Brooksville, Tampa Bay Regional Airport. Automated weather observation 1310 Zulu. Wind calm. Visibility 10. Sky condition clear. Temperature 14 Celsius. Dew point 14 Celsius. Altimeter 3027. Remarks. Density altitude minus 300. Temperature hello, bolt 69. Heading 080. Alright, so we got the weather there. Even though it is a beautiful morning, that fog in the mist did burn off like we expected. We're still going to do the ILS approach just as good practice. One, Look down here at the iPad, you'll see that's the approach plate. We have this all briefed. Uh, we're going to intercept the uh, glide slope at 1,600. We'll go right down to 276. We got 200 set up in our... 3,000, 851 Tango Bravo. We got 200 set up in our radar altimeter. And if we have to go to miss, we're going to climb straight ahead to 3,000. 090 heading to intercept the uh, 330 radial off of Lakeland. Go to Dades and hold. And we'll enter that holding pattern with a direct entry. And it'll be right turns. We got 3,000 set up in our altitude pre-selector, so we're BS down to that. Look out the front there, we'll start to see the airport come into sight here soon. Actually, I do have it sighted over there at our 1 o'clock. Look down here at the iPad, there we've got the approach plate pulled up on to our iPad, and you can see there we are. 7,000. EBM 1 Tango Bravo maintains 4,000. Contact Tampa Approach, 1818. Maintain 4,000 now, 188851 Tampa Bravo. So he switches up, level now at 4,000. And Tampa, 188. Tampa departure, radar contact, climb and maintain 12,000. Tampa, good morning, Navarre 51 Tampa Bravo, 5,400, descent 4,000 on a 320 heading. 351 Tampa Bravo, Tampa approach, expect the ILS runway 9 -er. Expect the ILS 9 or 851 Tampa Bravo. And our next frequency will be tower, so we'll get that set up to stay ahead of this flight. 1855. That's one last thing we'll have to do when they tell us to go to tower. We're one Tango Bravo. The uh, glide slope is out at Brooksville Airport. Did you want the localizer approach? You want to try to get the squeeze in there for a uh, visual? You know, I guess in that case we'll just uh, go for the visual. 851 Tango Bravo. Roger. 
All right, maybe we can get a short approach out of this. You know? Okay, so since the uh, light slopes out, I was really looking forward to doing the ILS. I guess we could have done the localizer, but a short approach is always fun too. So we'll maybe prepare for that. For one tango Bravo, to maintain two thousand. I maintain two thousand. Eight five one tango Bravo. Up with twenty six eighty six. Proceed direct door. It's funny because that was not in the notams anywhere when I did uh, my pre-flight like briefing. So I don't understand. I guess maybe it just went out of service now. The glide slope. You win some, you lose some. And anyway, we have two thousand set up in our altitude pre-selector. 9-8 Juliet reset transponder. And we're going down to that. Three. And we'll start to slow it up in case we get to do that short Juliet approach. Out of here. And it is a nice smooth morning out there. Number one Tango Bravo, turn 10 degrees to the left. 10 left, 851 Tango Bravo. We're 9298 Juliet Tampa. And we'll go back out of 850 mode. Left lever just goes back to the up position. Your radar service is terminated. Squawk BFR, frequency change. We won't be utilizing the torque past 100% anymore. So one Tango Bravo, Brooksville Airport, two to three o'clock in about seven miles. Airport site 851 Tango Bravo. Number one Tango Bravo, clear visual approach runway niner. Contact Brooksville Tower 118.55. Over to Tower 851 Tango Bravo. There's our airport over there. Number or 706 right off the right wing. No. Clear for the visual runway, approach. Airport three, three mile final. Wind zero five zero three. Altimeter three zero two seven. Warren Brooksville Tower, 851 Tango Bravo, we're seven, six to the south now, inbound on the visual for Niner. From 851 Tango Bravo, Brooksville Tower, Rod Report, three out, right base to runway Niner, wind 503, altimeter 3027. Roger, report three out for the right base, runway Niner, 851 Tango Bravo. All right, within our flap speed range, three, ready for takeoff. flaps, first notch selected. Out for Brooksville Tower, make right traffic, runway three, clip takeoff, report downwind. Right, and indicate. And we'll go gear and transition. Selected. We're also going to disconnect the autopilot. There we go. Gear is down and indicating. Put our pulsating landing lights on. Tower 851 Ch Tango Bravo. Any chance we get a short approach in a nine? Number one Tango Bravo, you can proceed direct to runway nine at your discretion and you're clear to land. Roger, uh, direct to the numbers, clear to land Niner, thanks, 851 Tampa. As, as you turn, finally, you'll see some construction just off the right side of the approach end, just don't overfly that, you shouldn't on that angle. Okay, Roger, we'll keep an eye out for that, we'll not overfly that, 851 Tampa. All right, we'll go direct to the numbers. Short approaches are always fun. I just gotta make sure we don't overfly the construction equipment. I think I see exactly what he's talking about, so, we actually will not go exactly right direct to the numbers. Well, why not? Just a little bit. I can see the construction guys would not really enjoy being buzzed by an airplane as they're trying to do their job. Nice smooth air. Yeah, see, you'll see that construction equipment all right to the right side of the uh, number six runway. Right back here, Skyhawk. Is that correct? Yeah, that's correct. Six six six. And how far out of unit? I am about four and a half miles out on final runway three. Looking good. Yeah. Beautiful day here in Florida. 500. That's 500 feet to the ground. And now we're going to start to turn onto the final approach course here of Niner. We're still not lined up yet. This is number six, three, basically a short approach. Runway three, almost direct to the numbers. There we go, now we're getting lined up. We'll start our right turn a little bit. There was actually our uh, decision altitude if we were on the uh, ILS approach. There's that construction equipment right off the right wing. We will clear that. Looking good. So we're gonna pull the power back to flight idle. Going to the flare. There we go. Center line. Go back into beta with the uh, power lever here. Welcome to Brooksville, Florida, guys. Remember 851 Tango Bravo destination? Going to Atlantic Aviation, 851 Tango Bravo. All right. uh, we don't have Atlantic oh. yet. The only FBO is American. You can turn left, then turn right on Alpha, go all the way to the end with another right, and that'll take you to the ramp. That's what I meant, uh, American Aviation. Going left here, and uh, right on Alpha to the end, and then the right into the ramp. Thanks, 851 Tango Bravo. That's correct. Across the whole shorelines here and clean up the plane. And 
and this is where we're going to turn right, go all the way to the end, and we'll do, do one more right, and that'll be into the ramp. Yeah, the uh, FBO we're going to be using here is American Aviation. I said Atlantic. I'm so used to using some Atlantics around the United States. There we go. Just getting everything all so set up for our departure out of here a little later today. And that is the first leg of our day today. we got two more, and uh, we'll stay overnight in Fernandina Beach. And then uh, tomorrow, we'll just be doing two legs. And back home I go, and that's... Uh, Work week for me, pretty easy. I love this job. It's a great career. I don't get burnt out with this job. I fly just enough to really enjoy continuing to fly. There's the uh, Florida Army National Guard off our left wing. Big thank you to all the men and women that serve our country. Well, if you did like that video, be sure to smash that thumbs up button, subscribe to the channel. Also, be sure to follow along on all my other social medias, Instagram, I'm pretty active on that. It's all linked in the description below. You can see behind the scenes of what I'm up to. Bravo. And now we're finally at the end of this taxiway Alpha. You'll see the sign in there that says to the right is where we go to the ramp. So we'll start our right turn here. Got that morning sun right in our eyes. And over to the left here is where the FBO is, American Aviation. So anyway guys, I hope you're all doing well, wherever you're watching from. And uh, we'll talk to you guys someday soon. Take care.